Hey Anna Fi, this week is Poetry Week. So first I'd like to start with a poem I learned in grade four. I think in grade four. My teacher used to give us little prizes if we came in and memorized a poem. And a friend of mine recited this and I just remembered it and it, it makes me happy, so here goes. I wish I was a chocolate bar, just sitting on a shelf. I'd look and stare with love and care, and then I'd eat myself. So I was going through my books and trying to find something that contained poetry. Anyway, I have the complete works of Oscar Wilde, which contains a lot of his poems, but I think I'd rather read something that was a little more meaningful to me and not something I just pulled off the shelf and read for the sake of Poetry Week. I'd like to read an excerpt from A Million Little Pieces by James Frey. I really enjoy his writing style, and I, I'd say that it's poetic. Just how he uses the English language is so unconventional and so emotional and blunt and amazing. It just feels poetic to me. I breathe and I shake and I can feel it coming, and rage and need and confusion, regret, Horror, shame, and hatred fuse into a perfect fury. A great and beautiful and terrible and perfect fury. The fury and I can't stop the fury or control the fury. I can only let the fury come. Come, 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 come. Let it motherfucking come. The fury has come. I see a tree and I go after it. Screaming, punching, kicking, clawing, tearing, ripping, dragging, pulling, wrecking, punching, screaming, punching, screaming punching, screaming. It is a small tree, a small pine tree, small enough that I can destroy it, and I rip the branches from its trunk and I tear them to pieces one by one. I rip them and I tear them and I throw them to the ground and I stomp them, stomp them, stomp them, and when there are no more branches I hear a voice and I attack the trunk. And it's thin and I break it in half and I hear a voice and I ignore it and I throw the broken trunk on top of the branches and one half of it is still in the ground. I hear a voice and I want it out of the fucking ground and I grab it and pull, pull, pull and it doesn't budge, not an inch. I hear the voice and I ignore it and I pull, scream, pull and it doesn't budge. This fucking tree, I want to destroy it and I let go of it and there is a voice. I ignore, I start kicking, kicking, kicking and the voice says stop, stop, stop. 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 I'm not sure if you guys know who this James Frey character is. There was a lot of controversy surrounding this book for a while because it's listed as a memoir, right? But then it came out that a lot of the stuff that happened in this book aren't really true or they were exaggerated greatly. So um, a lot of people boycotted it. Um, Oprah removed it from her book list, and it was just a really sad time. Um, that's actually what got me to read the book, <laughs> to be honest. I, I wanted to see what got kicked off Oprah's book list, but um, it's as long as you come to it with an open mind and recognize that it is a work of fiction, it it's a really good book. And then yesterday I actually went and I got James Frey's new book, Bright Shiny Morning. This is actually his first novel. Um, so that's exciting. I really like the back cover. So that's it for me this week. I will see you next Thursday.